Now for you at six. I'm hoping to get as many volunteers as possible. A call to clean up a river. For years now, there has been a big push to bring back the Naugatuck River. And now one city is looking for a little help clearing out some dirty tires. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the Mobile Newsroom in Ansonia with all the details. Matt, this is going to take a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work, but they need a lot of people. And here's why. Take a look. It's pretty hard uh, to spot it, uh, to, to not miss this here. Uh, you can see all these tires out here in the Naugatuck River here in Ansonia. Uh, and they've just sort of been collecting here in this one spot over the years. This is now the time of year where the water gets pretty low here uh, in the Naugatuck River, so you can really see them right now. And the city is looking to get these tires out of the water and up this steep river bank. So it's hoping that old saying, many hands make light work, will actually make it happen. Some stick out from the mud, others still barely visible in the low-lying water. But there they are, dozens of dirty tires, a rash of old rubber ruining the Naugatuck River. Not a good look. It reminds me of that 1970s infomercial with the Indian who cry, you know, walks through the polluted land and ends up crying. Out for a walk along the Naugatuck River Greenway, April Kelly says it's sad to see. Environmentally speaking, all the um, VOCs and rubber camp, just not a good thing for the river. And Ansonia's mayor agrees. A resident recently brought the blighted site to his attention. I did a little bit of investigation. I mean, these tires probably came from up north in the Naugatuck River, floated down here and then hit a low spot and didn't move anymore. So the city reached out to the Naugatuck River Revival Group, volunteers that have been cleaning up the river for years. Last weekend, they started the job, and you can see some tires are already stacked up and off to the side. And while they're taking the lead on getting rid of the more than 40 tires that floated down this way over the years, they need help to finish the job this weekend. And Sonia is putting out an all points bulletin for volunteers to use a bucket brigade approach, passing the tires up the rocky riverbank from one person to the next, with the city eventually disposing of them properly. You just need to be 16 years or older, wear work gloves, have work boots or sturdy footwear, and remember to bring a mask. This is our ecology. This is our, our beautiful Naugatuck River. It took years after it was uh, in bad shape, you know, economically, to, to clean it up. And we want to keep it clean. It's a beautiful river. And you can see ducks right there sort of eating right around those tires. Now, mayor says they already have about 20 volunteers. Of course, they're looking for more, and they are going to be meeting up at the gazebo on Division Street, 9 o'clock Sunday morning. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom, Minnie and Sonia. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.